Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild once again on the uh, Great One Before level 60 account, hunting around on some of the other maps after we got our Great One at level 42. As you guys have uh, noticed with the recent videos, we continued hunting on this account, but we're checking all of the maps that we did not hunt during that Great One Before level 60 grind. Let's go ahead and take a shot at this guy right here and get his buddy in the back as well. You know, recently we've been hunting a lot of mule deer on this particular playthrough because I've wanted to see if there was anything crazy on the map after uh, Big Rig, aka Nate, one of our uh, good friends, found a super rare on this map, a super rare diamond dilute mule deer. And uh, ever since he got that, I've been trying to redeem myself and find uh, something at least half as good as that here on this map as well. So that is uh, not the type of shot you want to be getting, but uh, I, I suppose it works. I, I suppose it works. We got the vertebrae, but we also ended up getting the liver, so it made up for it. And here is the larger of the two mule deer that we took down, 248.92, so that is definitely a solid gold. But it's nowhere near as amazing as the trophy that I got last night here while doing a mule deer hunt. And we're going to go ahead and get into that, but first there's one more thing that we got to take a look at. So if you guys want to see this trophy mule deer, stay to the end of the video, because we got something else quite interesting that EW dropped on us recently that I really need to make sure that you guys know about. Expansive Worlds has once again dropped a free skin pack on us, and this time it's got probably one of the coolest metal patterns we have ever seen for any of the, the packs in the game. It looks really, really good, and I mean, we ended up getting this champagne medal for the Christmas pack, which is no longer uh, obtainable, but now you've got this uh, brand new New Year's pack right here which has some pretty cool skins they did pretty good with them though i i gotta say the christmas pack was a little bit better but there's a lot of good stuff in this one as well especially when you go into the materials and you get this right here which looks amazing the new year confetti material and then the new year silver metal it is exactly what you would expect it is a bright chrome metal and it looks really, really good. This is what I'm talking about. This is probably one of the nicest metal finishes we've got. These last two free packs have been really, really good with the metals. And then if we go over to the camo tab, you got this right here, the New Year Party camo, which does look pretty nice. You've also got the New Year Geometric camo and the New Year Digital camo, which looks really cool. Like that is awesome looking. They've really outdone themselves with these free skin packs. I think the free ones have been way better than the paid ones in my personal opinion which i think is the way it should be and this is the final one that you get the new year premium fireworks wrap a really good selection of skins to get and how would you go about obtaining them you ask well let's go ahead and take a look at it right now all you got to do is open up your uh, your menu here go to the main menu and then once you've gone to the main menu click on avalanche apex connect when you click on that it'll give you the option to create a full apex connect account if you have a limited one, it will not give you these skins. You got to get a full account connected. And then once you've got a full account connected, make sure that you have Hunt Club Beta turned on because this is how you will receive your skins. Now, obviously, I've already got them, so it's going to be completed for me, but you can go to the completed tab here and take a look at your completed ones. This is essentially the mission that you'll see. And uh, once this disappears out of your current, then you know that you've completed it. Well, let's try to get a shot on this mule deer right here before we take a look at the crazy mule deer trophy that I found last night. Think that was good? Maybe? No, we unfortunately did not get a good shot there. Let's see if we can maybe get that guy. Yeah, we got that one. Okay, so we got one of them. Let's go claim that guy. And then we'll take a look at the uh, mule deer that we got the other day. So there we have our mule deer right here. It's just a level two, which is nothing compared to the crazy mule deer we got yesterday. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at that amazing trophy. The tag, I was just watching a tag back TV. <gasps> oh, level five right muley. Ooh, nice. Level five mule deer. On let's your, go on, on the second bears. account. Oh, uh oh, I yeah. You bears. <laughs> I no, I went bears. over to the second account to see if I could Search the rest of the areas I hadn't gone to for mule deer, and there's a level five right there. Well, everybody, all of the searching seems to have paid off. We found ourselves a level five mule deer. That is amazing. Now, this is a rack that I have seen a lot throughout the years, 
This is probably the most common diamond mule deer rack from my personal experience. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy down. I'm thinking we'll get close and do iron sights with the 308. I really like that idea. Actually, you know what? Let's go with the uh, single shot 243 because I think this can take it if I'm not mistaken. I should probably double check the class range just to make sure. Okay, so it is classes 2 to 6, which means we should be fine taking down a mule deer with it because they are a class 6 animal. Let's get a little bit closer. We're going to go for an iron sights shot with this thing. You know, I think at this point, this was the third day that I decided to come out here and search Silver Ridge Peaks for mule deer, and it finally paid off for us uh, a couple times ago. It paid off for Nate as he pulled that super rare off of this map, and uh, we kept searching, going throughout all of the rest of the map looking for mule deer, and we finally got down here and found ourselves a level five. So it's good that this all didn't go to waste. It's glad that none of this was wasted time. We actually managed to find a good trophy. All right, we should be getting quite close now. I'm kind of scared that we're going to spook things off. Uh, they shouldn't be able to see us, though, because we are behind uh, these rocks right here and a little bit over the hill. I am worried about them hearing us, though. Because they definitely could hear us, but I don't see any of them, so we should be good visibility-wise. Here goes nothing. Uh oh, he's attentive. Oh, my gosh. He went alert way quicker than all of the other ones did. We might have to crawl up on this rock to get a shot. I don't think I can get an angle from here. This may have been a bad idea to sneak up like this. I don't know what we're going to do. I, I think we're going to try this. Oh, my. Dude, get, get, get out of here, Gerald. Stay. Uh, that could have been really bad if it crossed in front of us as we were going for the five. So now the five is back there because he went alert. That's not good for us at all. That's a really rough position for him to be in. I don't know what to do here. Okay, he's moved. I, I don't know where he moved to. Oh, there he is. Okay, this is actually perfect. I don't like that angle, but this is... Oh, no. Well, we're going to have to use the scope. We got him. Man, I wanted to take him down without the scope, but he just did not give us a good shot that I could be comfortable with. I mean, I could have took it when he was facing us, but with how blocky those sights are, I, I wasn't very confident that we would be hit it in the right spot that we need to. Let's go ahead and claim this guy and see it's a 321.63 diamond. That is a beauty, man. An absolute beauty. And we did get a perfect little heart shot. Heart double lung, to be exact. Not bad at all. That went pretty well. Well, it's awesome to see that we finally had this uh, endeavor on Silver Ridge Peaks pay off. Let me know in the comments of this video if you guys think that we should go ahead and uh, move on to Season 3 of Great One Before Level 60. Or should we check Emerald Coast before? Let me know in the comments. And uh, whichever one I see the most of is probably what we'll end up going with. And I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and call the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. It has been so much fun playing through this second account here after the fact that we got that great one before level 60. It has been very, very enjoyable, and we have managed to get ourselves some pretty cool trophies. Also, considering this is, uh, or considering the way that Call of the Wild works, when you reset an account, you keep all the trophies. So we will keep all of these trophies, and as you see, we've got other trophies from previous playthroughs here on this account, because we did a Season 1 of Great One Before Level 60, where we unfortunately failed, and then we ended up doing the Beginner's Account playthrough on this account as well. And the most recent one being Great One Before Level 60 Season 2, where we actually successfully got this guy. So again, like I said when we were taking down that mule deer, let me know if you guys think it's time to move on to Season 3 of Great One Before Level 60, or do you guys think that we should go check Emerald Coast before? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. I really do appreciate it. We just hit 170,000 and uh, we've just been gaining subs like crazy recently. So I really do appreciate it all, guys. You guys helped me out more than you could ever imagine. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.